Okay, a couple more. I like this one a lot, you know. When I say half of 50. Let's do dollars again. I know you know this, friends. What is half of 50? 25, we know this, right? 25 bucks. Now the question is, and there's more than one answer, more than one answer to this. How do we do that mathematically? It's kind of fun. I like that there's more than one answer. I believe that there are multiple paths to the mountaintop. I believe that, both with countries, religions, math equations, personal choices, right? So um, how would you do half of 50 mathematically? How about our friends from school? Multiply by what? You're right, that is one. That is so true. Because you maybe recall what of means. What does of mean in math land? Times. Blue, man, you came here and you were like, nah, I'm not feeling it. But you really are, man. You really are. You should take one of these, just take one of these cards. It's all, I, I put all this stuff online, totally free. Totally free. You can enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, help yourself, for sure. But he's right, blue is right, half times. 50. Yeah, have some candy. Take some to the people. Take a handful. Take a handful. Yeah, pass that out. Pass that around. Pass that around. He's got candy for you if you want. Yeah, dude. Yeah, take yours. Okay, yeah, sugar up. <laughs> okay, that's right. That's 25. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to prove a point. I'm going to go half of 50. Look over here. 50 times 1 half is right. What's another way to do half of 50 using something that's not multiply? Using something that's not multiply. How would I? Divide, Divide by what? And I still want 25. I still want 25. Good job. I'm so happy. I know that look. You're thinking. That's all I wanted. I don't necessarily want the right answer. I just want people to be here with me. Yeah, think walk up. <laughs> yeah, why don't we make a human core? Human core. Very good. So we're, we're almost there. 50 divided by some number is 25. What? By what? Uh, the question is, what would go into 50 25 times? Got it. Two. That's right. 50 divided by two means split 50 into two. I need to my more. You, you were thinking two and you didn't say it? Well done. You need to trust your intuition more. That's right. Yeah, and you're a psychic too. The irony. <laughs> okay, so this leads us, this stumbles onto a, what's, where are you from, man? England. England, welcome, welcome. I, I hope you love maths as much as we do. I just wanted to say maths, you know? Because <laughs> I, I don't say it. Yeah, we say math, you guys say maths. Yeah, a lot of your friends out here, man. A lot of your... Uh, Countrymen, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good treat. So look, we're stumbling onto a truth. 50 times a half is 25. 50 divided by two is 25. So that would have to mean that multiplying by two, excuse me, multiplying by a half, right, is the same as dividing by two. Isn't that crazy? I'll say it again, multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by two. Or you could even say dividing by a number, dividing by any number is the same as multiplying by that number's what? Starts with R, we said it already. I'll ask the question again. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by that fraction's? Nice! <laughs> The reciprocal, that's right. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. You want to say that with me? Dividing by a fraction? Reciprocal. Say dividing by a fraction reciprocal. is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal. Try, it, try that out. Let it own it in your body. Is that too much? Too many words? <laughs> I thought it's like math. We were like, oh, ew, I gave you words. And then it's like, I'm out. I'm out. The reason that helps, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by a recip, is this. This asks how many times does two thirds, our old friend thirds, go into six, right? Kind of an odd question, kind of an odd question. You could think like, you know, six pizzas and how many groupings of two thirds fit inside six. That's one way to look at it, right? But it's not like 
jumping off the board, like what we need to do. Um, let's do this rule. 6 divided by 2 thirds. Is that the same thing, right? What's up, man? Welcome. Yeah, you're doing math all of a sudden. Here we are on, the, on the Venice Beach promenade. So this is 6 divided by 2 thirds. This is 6 divided by 2 thirds. So are, is it fair to say these are the same? I love the smile, by the way. That's good. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah, you're feeling it, in it. So these are the same type of thing. Like J. Cole said, flip them like reciprocals. Divided by 2 thirds is the same as, work with me, baby. What? Divided by 2 thirds is the same as what? I know you can do it. Oh, you're, I'm so happy you're guessing. I'm so happy you're guessing. Our friends over here know that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its what? You remember? What do we do with 2 thirds? Multiply by what? Say it. By six. I want you to flip this. Flip this. Three over two. Right. I'm going to say it again. This isn't easy. It's not easy. Six divided by two thirds is the same as three, six times three over two. See this? The point is, that's the right question. What is the point? Do you happen to know off the top of your head how many times two thirds goes into six? Right, I don't know, I'm not like readily thinking about that. I don't know that right away, right? It's expanding consciousness. You know, you could probably know that. You probably, probably people here know how many times two thirds goes into six. So rather than think of it like a division problem, which is six divided by two thirds, you could think of it like a multiplication problem, which is six times the reciprocal. That's what we're doing. That's the point. That's the idea. Besides hanging out here, right? Do you guys know what reciprocal means? Go like that, right? So is it safe to say that 6 divided by 2 thirds is the same as 6 times the reciprocal? Yeah, you learned that in school? Oh, math major. Math major, this guy. <laughs> I got, he's like, no, I'm, I got this. <laughs> this. This is cake, baby. OK, yeah, good. 6 over 1. We can do what's called cross cancel. These can go. Divide both by two. That would be one. Divide by two is three. Multiply across and you get nine. There it is. So it happens to be that the number of times that two thirds can fit inside six is nine. In other words, right, it's a victory. Yeah, climb the mountain there, yeah. The number of two-thirds inside six is nine. So if you'd split it up into groupings of two-thirds, 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 nine times. Right, I'm getting nods, very good. Nods on the nines. That's right, there it is, right? Do you learn this in school? Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the what? Dividing by any number is the same as multiplying by that number's reciprocal. That's the idea. It's a strange thing, but it's true. Because 50 divided by 2 is 25. And 50 times 1 half is the same thing. That means this thing in the pink box, I got the colored markers for this reason, so that it would pop out. You know, So anything in this box means it's the same. We did it over here as well. right? 6 divided by 2 thirds is sort of weird. We don't really know what that is. So you can write it as 6 divided by 2 thirds. It's the same thing which is six times the flip, what that family was talking about over here. Six times three over two, and then that becomes nine, all right? So we're gonna do one more. One more. One more. One more, one more. Remember that rule. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its? Nice, well job. Tara knows. So, yeah. Going back home. Come on up. Come on up. You're welcome. Yay, Matt. Awesome. Yay, Matt. Right. Rock and roll. <laughs> right. This is perfect. Okay. So, can you explain what this is asking? Uh, same thing. Like what's it? What's it asking? Divide. Just stand back divide. so we can see the board. Just right over there. Good. Okay. The, it's asking how many times does? How many times? Uh, that's half. That's half. Yeah. yeah. Go into. Eight. Eight. Do you know how many times one half goes into eight? Let's find out. 
one half plus one half. Is that eight? That's two one halves. Is that eight? No. Okay, more. How many one halves go into eight? Do you want to look at eight pizzas together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> pretend, yeah. <laughs> pretend pizza or real, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Rocking. So we're asking ourselves how many times does one half go into eight, right? How many halves in here? Here, I would say two. Two, you're right. One, two. That's too, br too light. Let's go blue. Yeah, how many in here? Two more? So three, four. Do you see where this is going? How many all together? I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it all the way. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, yeah, 15 16. 16, bravo. Yeah. I like your earrings, the feathers. Oh, yeah. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, so that's right, that's 16, that's right. Yeah. You answered the question, how many times does one half go into eight. This is good. She just was walking by and now she's doing math all of a sudden. So are you guys. If I said yay math, would you repeat it? Yay math! Yeah, yeah nice. All right. This is just hanging out, trying to make a human connection. We're making one. And learning math along the way, right? In that order. So remember, we don't always need to draw all these pizzas. We could actually do it numerically. Watch it. Here it comes. Eight divided by one half is the same, this is your moment, yeah, let's as eight times, one half. well, divided by a fraction is the same as times what? Times well, the answer is 16. The answer is 16. Right. Remember that rule when you divide by a fraction? Oh, two, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yes. Two, one. Two, one. Yes. Two, one. Yeah. I saw you, I saw you like something happened in your face. Yeah. You're like one half. And then you went, boom. <laughs> and you're like, and you're like, oh yeah, that thing. That thing. Oh, that's so cool. That was great. Feel happy. So two over one. It makes me happy too. I'm glad. That's the whole, that's the eye. That's, that's the idea. Two over one. And what is eight times two? Boss, good job. Oh, All right. Yeah, those flies are eating us up. All right.